Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box with the Technical Trader at thetechtrader.com. It's uh, Tuesday, the 12th of September. Here's the charts of the day. Well, the market's had a kind of a consolidation day and a little bit on the volatile side, particularly after Apple's uh, foreign Apple's uh, introduction of the new iPhone 8 and 8X, etc. But um, I'm going to show you a dozen and a half stocks today that had some interesting formations and movements. Um, if you look at AAC, a stock that I've been watching but not following, the actual breakout of the base that formed since November came out here, and then the flag formed, and then it ran up. But today it exploded with increasing volume of nearly half a million shares. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it's the biggest volume traded in months, if not all year. And with the breakout here, I'm looking for a 15, 16 move, and maybe even 19. There's 25 days to cover. It should get interesting. Stay tuned. Look for a pullback potential opportunity. Good old Ballard, uh, one of our subscribers, notified me about this today, and I looked at it, and I said, boy, that looks pretty interesting. If you take a look at the um, two-day chart, you'll see that the it's been trending since it based out in 2015-16 um, and broke out. Here's the secondary breakout, and here's that big coil pattern. It's a wave one, two, three, four. Wave five is starting. It may run to four and a half, even six. There's three days to cover on this one. BZUN. Pretty strong chart, wouldn't you say? Been a phenomenal move in this last week or two. It's gone from 26 to 35. It's right at a triple top resistance here. If it should pop through here, we might very well see low to mid 40s. Stay tuned on B zone. It looks quite interesting. Old swing C bay, which broke out, consolidated, broke out again, and has been stair stepping up in a rising channel. To me, today popped out of the key multi week coil uh, with an increase of. Um, 46 cents or 7.34 percent on a million three doesn't look a lot doesn't look like a lot but it's the biggest volume we've had on an update since back in um, july and with the breakout i look for a quick test of 750 740 50 and then it run at the eight and a quarter 830 range we get through that we're looking at 11 12 dollars stock this may be extended as a swing it looks pretty good cdxc now looking at this chart and the breakout that occurred the last couple days You'll see that basically that was resistance here. We can go all the way back there. It popped through it. And it also popped through the August 2069 and closed right there. Um, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a surprise if we got some energy on the upside. There's 11.45 days to cover. It may be made a run at um, near five and then maybe up near six. So let's look for five and six going forward at CDXC. FEYE up just nine cents today, but you can see that it's holding above the breakout point. It might very well start to accelerate. 17 and a half, 18 is my near term zone, and I'm looking at 20 and three quarters, 21. 5.3 days to cover. This looks like a bottom, breakaway gap, consolidation zone, breakout. Big day for INOV, folks. We first gave this to you when it popped uh, three or four weeks ago, then it pulled back to support, and then boom. From about the 12 and a half range, we went up to 1780 today. Closing at 1710, 15 up 250. 250 gain today, or 245, whatever it was, it was up 3.2 million shares, up 17%. Now, it did break the resistance and close above it. So, I'm, even though the angle of ascent might be there, uh, and it could pull back and consolidate, I'm eventually looking for 20. 16 days to cover on INOV. I put Juno out today because I was just intrigued by the base to break out the wedge and then explosive move, including this big breakaway gap with volume. Now, the consolidation of the last seven or eight sessions has me believing that it's not going down, it's going to go up. Your next target is 49. Beyond that, we could see that stock make a run at the 57, 58 range. So let's look for 49 and say 57 as targets. Lane Christensen, the construction company, engineering construction firm, had a breakout today, popped smartly with 1.2 million traded. It was up 87 cents or 7.8%. There's 25 days to cover. I think the shorts are really getting to get hammered on this one. My near-term target, 14. OLED is a very compelling long-term pattern, and I know I've missed it all along the way. This was a swing a, a year and a half ago, um, but for now, you can see the, the pop, coil, pop, consolidation, and pop another one, a longer one here. But recently, it's come out above that whole range, and it looks to me like a stock that wants to be in the mid 145.50 range, followed by 180.85, 4.4 days to cover. Well, solar stocks in general acting well, as you know, I've been following it for months, SEDG, since the February-March period when it was trading in a 1450 range, and eventually made it up to 20, 
865 and then came down for the last month in a nice consolidation flag. Look at the bounce off the uh, trend line and moving average, jumping $1.55 or 6.24 percent, 3.6 days to cover. I think we're going to make a run of 29, 31, and 34 going forward. SFUN can clean break out of an inverse head and shoulder pattern. A volume wasn't huge, but 4.3 million is fine. You can see some resistance and a potential target of 475. But with 14 days to cover, I think we're going to see 550 and 650 potentially. Another construction company in the news and looking great in the last two weeks is Sterling Construction, which has gone from 9.5 to over 15 and broke out today. Now, this is, a, I believe, Texas-based construction company that may benefit with the devastation in Harvey. But more importantly, I think what you're looking at is a stock that's going to get up into that zone around a 22 range. That's my target. 2.45 days to cover. Trade desk doing very well. We mentioned the other day that it broke out and pulled back. Had an engulfing day yesterday and followed through today. I'm looking for 65 and 75 going forward. And how about that BERI? Incredible move. Seven days in a row. The stock has gone from under 8 to almost to over 29. A huge move. Nearly 300%. And for me, it's extended. But boy, momentum is phenomenal. Take a look at an hourly chart, for example. It's really amazing. But in just the last three weeks, it's gone from, like I said, from under 8 to 28 to 72. Play it for what it is, momentum. And if you uh, are luckily get, lucky enough to get into the low to mid-30s, in the next day or two, great. But make sure you have stops in place. W's. Wow, a nice pop right to resistance. And this is the all-time high. You saw the long, long base. We got the breakaway gap there and the rising ascending flag there. I pulled back to test that area a couple months later, and now the pop. If this is the true channel, I'm looking for 110 folks. One, one, zero. 5.4 days to cover. Zoma was so juicy today, I had to put a swing on it. It closed up $1.38 or 7.8%. Volume isn't big. It's not a heavily traded stock. But boy, if this opens strong tomorrow or, in it, or it makes a move above 19.5, we can see 24, 23, 24 very quickly. 17.8 days to cover. And finally, your Rendai doesn't care about technicals because this stock just keeps going. This is a major breakout today. I'm looking for a move to 50. And folks, that's it for tonight. Have a good evening.